this is part two of the building project series I have going on in my backyard. I'm putting fence posts in shallow ground, yeah, thinking inside the box. Stay tuned, today we're putting the fence up. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, yeah, we're just putting the fence up on this project. This is uh, number two in the series. Uh, I got some leftover fencing. Don't know if it's gonna be enough, but I do have accommodations for where it doesn't fit. But right now we're just gonna get the gate strung through here, threaded in on the side of the T-post that I want it. And then we're going to tack it down to the post, at least at uh, this start. So let's get that done. Yeah, these are the fence staples you want to use. And I'm just going to make it easier for me to put it together. And we're just going to go ahead and start nailing this fence, or stapling the fence to the corner of this post. Now I left these uh, leads out because I'm going to actually use them to uh, hold my irrigation drip line in place, which comes out perfect. Yeah, for me, it's a win-win. Now, uh, to secure the top of the fence to this conduit, I'm just using some zip ties uh, for now, and I'll wire it in with a more permanent wire feature uh, later. I'm going uh, every third square to uh, fasten it.
Now, all this fencing you see around my garden and my backyard, this is the last of it. All this came from my garden that I had over at Acorn Acres. It's another homestead we had a mile down the road. And we were caretakers, and I built this garden that was 100 feet long and 50 feet wide. Here's what it looked like. I had these 16-foot uh, long, 4-foot wide raised beds in that. And... I had an epic garden. So when the place sold, it sold to some um, hemp hemp growers, and they were just going to tear the garden out. So I just took out all my raised beds. I took out all my fencing that I put in and purchased, and I brought it over here and put it in. So uh, I was able to utilize what I purchased out of my own pocket so this is it we finished the we're finishing the fencing and now this is enough to keep the deer out uh, of my yard I don't have to worry about it anymore I'm going to do the same effect of this bar with this fence right here um, same fencing I'm going to pull out the posts paint them and evenly space them between the uh, two uh, corner posts like the gate post and that corner post down there and put the conduit across the top that way it'll make it nice and even this this is what happens to the fence the, right now it's spaced at 10 feet and that's what happens over a period of time I just want to give it some more structure and more aesthetic I just noticed this. This is my Santa Rosa plum tree I planted, and it's got plums on it. How exciting. How exciting. I do not see any fruit on my other trees, though. But that's a different story. Anyway, let's get back to work on this fence. Now, I want to remind you this. These uh, zip ties are temporary to hold the, uh, the fence in place until I get the wire on, and that will be uh, another show. Or actually, that will be later on in this program. But the fence is looking really nice. And also, uh, securing the bottom of the fence, doing something different. Uh, I've got to move that whole pile of soil in here, and then I've got to lay some a uh, weed barrier and we're going to lay pea gravel over the top of it as a flame barrier and then also I can plant some plants along here. What I found is that when you're doing gravel as a mulch, uh, gravel changes your pH of your soil. It turns it more acidic. So you want to choose acidic loving plants to grow in there and that's what I'm going to do with the exception of uh, uh, in front of each pole I'm going to have a potted plant like potted rose or potted flags uh, irises is what you call them I'm also um, going to plant blueberries love acid uh, acidic uh, uh, earth so does rhododendron and azalea so those are options I can plant along my fences that are getting gravel okay it's time to remove the old fence and then we'll work on the bottom part So if you notice, I had to change hats. The sun's coming out, and I don't want my neck burnt. So I'll just take the, take the protection.
Okay, if you notice, I got some gaps on the bottom of my fence, but I got a fix for it. I went down and purchased for 20 bucks, 24 inch by 25 foot uh, chicken wire, but I'm gonna trim it down. See that little wire right in there? Yeah. I'm gonna take my side cutters and I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle and get 50 feet of wire out of there. And then I'm gonna zip tie it to the bottom to hold it in place. Then I'll get my J clips and clip it in place. Those J clips are what I used when I built my rabbit cages. So let's get this done. I got them cut. Now I got 50 feet instead of 25 feet. And so now I just zip tie it to the bottom of the fence. Okay, I'm winding down this project. Now it's time to apply the J clips. Here's the tool. And if you guys watched my uh, video on assembling the rabbit cages, I used a lot of these assembling those cages. But anyway, I want to show you a J clip is exactly what it is. It's a little metal clip that's in the shape of a J. And what we do is we insert it into this, and I'll show you how to apply it to the wire. Okay, I got the J clip loaded, and then I'm going to go around the center, hook it in there, and there it is. It's on. Now for the uh, rest of it, I'm, I'm completing part two of uh, installing the fence thinking inside the box because of the shallow soil. What has to be done next is backfill it with a lot of uh, topsoil. There's a big pile back here that has to be moved in here but I have to get my tractor fixed to move it in here and dump it and get it graded and then it'll bring the level of the soil up to the level of the bottom of the fence also. And on the back side of the fence, we'll go ahead and pack some soil and cement because I hate weeds growing up through fences. And I found the best way to uh, handle that is uh, cementing under the fence line and in the fence line. Now on this side, after it's all graded, we're gonna uh, add a weed barrier and then we're gonna add a 
border just like what I did to the front yard. Weed barrier, border with brick, cement, and then we're going to overlay it with pea gravel, just like what you see here. And then we're gonna landscape it appropriately. So the zip ties were used to hold it, uh, the chicken wire in place while I put the uh, J clips on. So the new fence is in, um, it's, it'll keep deer out. And that's what I wanted is just to keep deer out of my yard. And then the chicken uh, wire across the bottom will keep smaller creatures out of my yard from getting under the fence. It happens. Anyway, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm or our frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up, click that share button. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, leave a comment. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in my next adventure. I told you spring is a really busy time for a farmer. Busy. Bye-bye now.